The University of Texas made it official this afternoon, inaugurating Dr. Greg Fenvis as its 29th president. After the ceremony, Fenvis gave his first State of the University address, laying out his vision and plans for UT Austin. KXAN's Anna Wernicke live on the 40 Acres with our top story. Anna? President Fenves told the audience today that he will work to create a more research-driven and diverse community here at UT in the next 10 years. Delegates from across the nation from over 100 universities traveled here to Austin today for this inauguration. Fenves has took over as the acting president of the university in early June. He had served as provost since 2013, and before that, he was dean of the engineering school. Fenves says his three main aspirations for UT are excellence, effective results and efficient methods. And as we embark on this journey, I pledge to all of you here today that I will be a president who listens. I will be your partner in seeking our full potential. It's been a pretty pretty busy tenure for Fenves so far. On Tuesday, he met with the athletic director, Steve Patterson, and later that day, Patterson resigned. And last month, he was involved in the decision to remove the controversial statue of Jefferson Davis from campus to a museum. On University of Texas campus, Anna Warnicke, KXAN News. Anna, thanks. The University of Texas founded back in 1883, and since then, the university has had 28 presidents. Most of them served in the post for just a few years. The longest serving president was Harry Benedict. He held the position from 1927 to 1937. Former UT President Bill Powers was close to matching Benedict's tenure. He held the post from 2006 until this year.